Okay, thank you so much for being here. So my session is around where knowledge meets innovation to create a smarter maintenance software. My name is Rodrigo and I am GM at ManWinWin. ManWinWin Software is the most experienced company in the world in maintenance management software, also known as CMMS. So what we do is we digitalize maintenance processes in clients all around the world. And today we have been doing this for 40 plus years and we have clients in more than 120 countries worldwide. So this is who we are. Now in today's uh, session, I would like you guys to walk away with three takeaways. Number one, there it is. I'm gonna start with some bad news. I'm gonna talk about why digital transformation projects fail. I'm in the right venue to do that, clearly. And the second takeaway, I'm gonna to talk to you about man win, win DNA. In other words, our corporate culture. In other words, who we are. Not what we do, but who we are. And the final takeaway is, of course, a sneak peek into Man Win Win 7, which is, in fact, our greatest launch ever uh, to this date. So let's start by asking this question. Do digital transformation projects fail? And as a matter of fact, I went through the most credible possible sources to understand if this is true. And it turns out that it is true. And Forbes magazine says that 84% of digital transformation projects fail. McKinsey and company and other big consultancy companies uh, range the risk of failure between 70 and 95%. And IDC has mentioned that there's an 84% uh, risk of failure to deliver real business value. So these are the bad news. Pretty scary news when I, when I started seeing this. So I dug a little deeper. I researched. And of course, I have 15 years myself of experience in this area. And my company, our company, has more than 40 years of experience in this area. So we did dig a little deeper into this insight, into this scary number of the failure rates of digital transformation projects. And I went through the reasons why they fail. And the reasons why they fail, I'll just list a few for you to have an idea. Lack of commitment. People are poorly trained. No quality in data, no quality information. People leave at companies. Employees fear of losing their jobs. Now these are just a few of the reasons why digital transformation projects fail. And so if you look at it, you can identify a pattern. And one of my first conclusions was technology is not the problem. Technology is not the problem. So all the companies here, the technology they sell is not the problem. Humans are the problem. But they are also the solution. And this is literally the key takeaway number one. Digital transformation is 80% soft skills, 20% technology. The human factor in digital transformation is 80% of the success. And this is key takeaway number one. And you should take it home with you. Key takeaway number two. This is our team. Meet the team. And as I mentioned before, we have been in business for a long time. We work with really good clients. And, you know, we've been through a lot of crises since 1981. So we've been through tough times, which kind of makes us, Man Win Win, a very unique company. We are like, I mean, our analogy would be, we are like those wise, mature, um, you know, thoughtful adults that, uh, that know stuff and that we've been around, and we know uh, what type of issues will arise. We know what type of challenges people have. And this is a little bit of our DNA. Let's start, I'm gonna start by describing who we are, this DNA I keep telling you guys about. 
our DNA, before I, I run to it, our DNA is really how we work, how we function as a company. So I'm going to look inside our company right here, and I'm going to tell you guys how these guys, including myself, how we operate. And we operate under four main uh, principles. Four main principles that we operate in. The first one is to know. To know means to learn. To It's knowledge. We never stop learning. And we have this culture of learning, of knowing more. And when we don't know, we go and research. And this is key principle number one in our company. Key principle number two, we do things well. And this is not just you know, saying it. We actually have methodologies in place to work in the right way. Not just the ISO 9001 methodology, but we actually have systems in place that make us work properly the right way. We don't work on top of our knee. So that's key principle number two in our DNA. Number three, we know our priorities. In other words, when we look at the team, all the people that work in our company, we know exactly where the priorities lie. And those priorities, at least I always phrase it this way, the most important thing in someone or for someone working in our company is the life they have outside our company. That's priorities. And finally, we say to transform well. And transforming here is a philosophical way of saying we actually enable people to, to grow. And this means, you know, people sometimes come to our company and they've never even been outside of our country. By the way, our country is Portugal in the corner, west corner of Europe. And sometimes people haven't left the country and five years later, they've been to 20 countries or more, worked with I don't know how many different cultures, have spent I don't know how many weeks outside working in different business sectors with different people. And this is experience. This is personal growth. This is why we say to transform well. So these are the four overarching principles of our company culture. Now, what does this render? Why do we, op I mean, what are the benefits of behaving like this towards our employees? They become skilled, they become confident, and they become motivated. And these things, I am a science guy in the sense that I believe in scientific research, in empirical evidence that, in this case, that skilled, confident, and motivated people actually provide happy and accomplished people at work. Okay? Nothing about technology, not just yet. And here's the interesting thing. Here's why this is important for your digital transformation projects. Sorry. This is the human factor at Man One Win. This is, I mean, we live, we understand this 80% of success of your digital transformation projects in maintenance management, which is our area. And this is key takeaway number two. The fact that we live this human factor, the fact that we know exactly how people, the challenges and the companies face, the challenges that people uh, face, the challenges that less um, tech savvy people face when a new software comes into town. These are the real um, pain points for these companies, at least in the area that we work with. So that was key takeaway number two. And key takeaway number three is the reason why we developed Man on Win 7, our best ever version so far. And Man on Win 7 was actually, just to give you an idea, I went through the math, I think, yeah, two days ago, and I think we have had more than 120 versions of the software. You know, version 1, version 1.1, etc., etc. And today, well, today we pre-launch Man on Win 7, and we understand that Man on Win 7, once again, will follow three main guidelines. And guidelines are, you know, these three principles that will govern all the new features that we will incorporate in the system. And the first one is to guide you in collecting quality data. It is unbelievable to understand that AI, 
for example, is a spectacular technology. And I mean, it's a breakthrough. Quality that, sorry, AI depends on quality data. It lives with quality data. And this is something that we have incorporated in Man Win Win 7. We are going to help the users collect quality data. Number two, intelligence to help in decisions. And this, of course, is the basis of quality data collected. You know, we want the system to start giving alerts, automatic alerts to managers, uh, insights to managers, forecasts to managers. And this is the reason why we have things recorded in softwares. We want the software to work for us, and of course not the other way around. But we actually want the software to start giving us intelligent information. And finally, we want to make life easier for maintenance technicians in the field. And once again, our experience, long experience, is that if you don't provide an easy tool for people in the field, then they will not use the system. If they don't use the system, you don't have data. If you don't have data, then AI is a dream. And this is not a, it's not a sexy thing to say, especially on stage here in a spectacular trade show like this one, but here's where we, we make the difference. We know that this is the case. This is true. This is how things work. Now that I have told you the three overarching principles embedded in everything we will do in Man on Win 7, I'm going to leave you with a little teaser of our software, a little video um, of Man on Win 7. And I am proud, very, very proud to say, as one of the managers, one of the partners of the company, I am proud to tell you that you will be the first people outside of our company to watch this video. So enjoy. An ever-changing world needs an ever-changing software solution. That's why we are here. We are Man Win Win Software, where four decades of knowledge meet innovation to create a state-of-the-art maintenance software. This brings you cost savings, reduced equipment downtime, and increased team's productivity. And now, even better and smarter. Man Win Win 7 is our latest version with a brand new design and a native app for Android and iOS. And for the first time, a smart assistant. Meet Winston. We went over and beyond to bring AI and real-time alerts, insights, and forecasts into our software. Save the date for the Man Win Win 7 launch, 21st December 2022, and join the most experienced company in the world in CMMS. Guys, thank you very much for your time and for being here. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much.